All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Um, I did want to get another one of these team versus in right here uh, with uh, Tech UI Goku involved. Um, I felt like this would be a good one to do. Um, so I just did it against, uh, you know, the the character in the same time slot from last year, which obviously is the Tianabata LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, of course, one of the worst aging units in Dokkan history here. Now, I did the video yesterday, um, the Blue Gogeta vs. Broly team, um, and the point of these videos, right, um, if you guys, like, look, I remember, I've got playlists for everything, there's a playlist for, like, this kind of, like, series that I do. In that playlist, you know, we covered, like, Yellow Queen LRs, who obviously are very bad leader characters. Not really Cell Max, because he has, like, way beyond Yellow Queen power and stuff like that, blah, 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 with a good leader skill, sort of. Well, not good by stats, but by by the team anyway. Um, so, I you know I never made this series about like it's gonna be like double you know Super Saiyan 4 Goku or double. Um, by the way, Goku takes a lot of damage at first hit, man. But it's it's all good. It's it's only one hit. The good thing about this fight for Super Saiyan 4 Goku, by the way, is that SDR Kid Buu cannot super turn one. So that like that is what would kill Super Saiyan 4 Goku would instantly die if that was the case. Um, so he could be effective in here. As long as we're not trying to run some shitty Saiyan or character with him or something like that, we'll be okay. Um, so, uh, the series has never been about, like, using, like, like double, like, lead. Because, there, you know, there's going to be yellow clan LRs where we might do this on, and we're not usually going to want to run them as a leader. So, like, what I've always tried to do, and you guys could go back, you know, looking at all the videos to see, is I try and just do, like, either, not necessarily like, the best team for them, but like one of like the better setups that that, that you could run. Um, and that's what I did for both the Gogeta and Broly. I guess it was a little bit weird since Gogeta was on both teams and people were, you know, like like they thought that I was going to do double Gogeta versus double Broly. Um, so I, I think I would probably pose it as a question right here at the start. Is it super important that I run the lead or is it just, you know, for like Carnival LRs or Dokkan Fest LRs I should? Because obviously for like Yellow Queen LRs, there's no way we're going to do two. But just looking at some people saying in the comments yesterday that they thought it was going to be double Gogeta, right? And it's like I ran Gogeta on Superhero and then I ran double Broly. Um, remember, Broly has a be much better leader skill than Gogeta. Uh, so I'll just ask you guys what you want. So, But I was kind of thinking of that. So I was like, okay, like I guess I'll just do double LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku then. Um, we did go into a very tough fight. The Kid Buu fight is one of the hardest fights in the game. Um, I felt like we probably could do it, though, because, again, even though Super Saiyan 4 Goku will take a lot of damage, I mean, notice we're over 800,000 HP, which is pretty huge. And then not only are we over 800,000 HP, but the fight is designed incredibly well for Super Saiyan 4 Goku himself. Super Saiyan 4 Goku sucks because his base form sucks, and he has to be run in slot 1. But this fight in particular can't really capitalize on Super Saiyan 4 Goku's weakness. So, you know, we will be able to kind of, like, handle business there. Um, then on the other end of it, um, because, you know, we're using some of the characters like Beast and stuff like that, I didn't want too much overlap between the two teams if I could, like, yesterday. So, it's like, you know, Evolution Blue Vegeta is on both teams because, I mean, you really, like, we gotta, we gotta run him. But, like, that's pretty much it, right? UI Goku, of course, does lead um, Universal Survival Saga and Trusted Will and Realm of God. So he does have a lot of superhero characters, but it's not like a direct superhero team. Now, uh, we have uh, 17 and Golden Frieza. Here's an opportunity to show how impressive they can be, right? They can just outright tank Kid Buu super attack with really no difficulty. Uh, it's really nice just them easily tanking the super and just not really having anything to worry about. Uh, and then, of course, we have Beast on the other team who just would easily be able to tank that. So remember, LR Omega is is fight-specific. We could dust out LR Omega, which we do over here, because his passive debuff is applying to Kibu already. Then we could use his active skill for more debuffs. We could just do a lot of good shit. We're going to be able to get the standby for Super Saiyan 4 Goku as well. Oob, of course, is very defensive in here. Remember that Oob, by the way, is capable of nullifying Kid Buu Super. All right, now look at the, the team on the left, the UI Goku team. So uh, this is just one of those, you know, 
I like I wanted to run Dispo on the team. Dispo's good. By the way, Dispo is at max power on this team. Right? Like Dispo has a condition, either a rotation with a Universe 11 ally or a full rotation of tournament participants, which we do have. So we have the only condition Dispo has, we have him. This is full power Dispo. Um Dispo does die here. <laughs> I'll tell y'all right now. Dispo does actually die right here. Uh, so funny enough, we load into this video and it's like, oh man, double Super Saiyan 4 Goku, that could be an issue. But it's going to be the team on the left, the UI Goku team, that we actually get a death. Uh, again, I'm just kind of, I, you know, I hate LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku at this point. So when I'm using a character, I will like acknowledge I hate them. I think they're horrible. I will talk against them. I really want to lock in to just focus very hard and play very well. So I, I go a little slow at times with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku team because I'm really considering all options and want to make sure I win. That was the thing, right? Because it's, you know, we're using a little bit of a, a wonky setup, sure, but Omega can put in serious work against Kid Buu and we are going to have Beast on the next rotation to protect to protect Omega. Like, it, it's we're kind of able to make it work, right? Like, uh, it actually does work, you know, decently fine there. All right, so Dispo. Dispo cucks us, by the way. Because Dispo supers, and then 70% normal. 70%, and we get another normal. And then there you go. That's GG. It's like, we're just done. Now, Dispo, remember, builds up dodge as he supers in the turn. If he gives us three supers, I guarantee we would have lived right here. But we only get two. Dispo, first hit, he has major defense. Then, obviously, at that point, he doesn't. And then Kibu gets even more attack. And there's so many attacks in slot three. And, of course, of course, Kibu attacks a million times in slot three. And he specifically supers in, sl in slot three, of course. And Dispo just failed. It's possible Dispo can just shit himself, which we literally just saw. Dispo does have the ability to do that. At the end of the day, Dispo is a character reliant on dodge. I, It's difficult for me to really consider him like a true dodge or die character or something like that. Because like he could definitely do at least a little bit of tanking. But it was brutal, man. It was rough. It was rough. All right. So we're going to get the GT 8th Anniversary LR. Their revive is going to come out. <clears throat> as well as giving us the massive attack buff and stuff like that. So uh, what we could do is we could have Blue Cow, Can Goku, and Evolution, Blue Vegeta. By the way, they're a really elite character for this fight. I could have brought them on UI Goku's team, but I, again, I, I wanted to try and avoid too much overlap like we had with the Blue Gogeta and Broly video. You know, so that's why I like there. But funny enough, that would be the Dispo slot. Like if they were there instead of Dispo, you know, we would have won effortlessly, but it's fine. It's fine. Again, the game is RNG. At the point, the game is RNG, man. Like you know, like I, 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 you can only do so much. We we had Dispo in a fine position. Uh, we just all the RNG in the world failed us on that turn. That's all it is. That is all it is. All right. So Blue Cow can Goku Evolution Blue Vegeta. They're one of the better characters for this fight. I've seen people say they're number one. I disagree because you can't use them, um, like as like a nice slot one character to block Kid Buu's super attack which when he's built up can be devastating. Their debuffs work very good against lowering the damage from his normals, but the super is still going to cook characters. They will live a super after they attack, but again, that's not slot one. I, I would always take like beasts over them in this fight because again, you know, even though their damage is good and they are debuffing, which makes normals, you know, more palatable for the other characters... You know, at the end of the day, that Beast Gohan active is going to be doing way more. So right, right here, like, they, they will eat this like a champ. Um, the debuffs will at least take a, a tiny bit of the bite out of the super attack, but the super still holds most of its power. Um, but the normals are not going to be an issue. Funny enough, we now at this point have debuffed Kid Buu so much that GT Vegeta here actually survives, by the way. GT Vegeta at the end does not die. I was not expecting that that Vegeta would have lived. I know we've debuffed Kid Buu a lot, but I, I didn't think it would get to that point. Uh, here we are again, where we're going to have another situation where Dispo is in front of the super attack in slot 3. Obviously, this time I know that the super attack is going to be in slot 3 this time. Let's hope Dispo 
Hopefully, it's not going to be one of these videos. Dispo, please, buddy. Show us what you got. All right, so look at this. Vegeta actually lives. I was dumbfounded. What? I was, bro. I was like, you have got to be kidding me. No shot that that Vegeta lived, but he did. Uh, and we pretty much have clinched the victory by this point. Notice we do have Omega's uh, revive up right here, too. So I could have, um, like, just let the rotation go and we could potentially die and Omega would just revive for us. Um, but I do decide to use Beast Gohan's active right here. Um, I thought that depending upon the way the turn went, there was a possibility that we could kill Kid Buu where his HP is. Um, but keep in mind, if Gohan does not have his unit super attack active, uh, then Kid Buu will block his 18 key super attack, unfortunately, right? Uh, and then on the, the left team, the UI Goku team, they're kind of just working their way back. It was just, you know, again... Uh, kind of an unfortunate uh, Dispo Clown Show moment. Um, who, who knows? There may be other Clown Show moments coming up in this in this video. You know, it could be right now. Who knows? Who knows? What do you guys think? Is Dispo going to handle business here? So the 70% this time connects. 70%, we actually get the super attack. Okay, very good. Um, now he has a second 70%. And he gets the second... No, wait, no, wait. Oh, wait. Doesn't he... He triple supers here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. The second 70% we failed. That's the one from, you know, alternate participants. And then the hidden potential system we did get. So we got three supers. And then... He dodges this time. Yeah, he does. He does. So we're good there. We're good there. We're good there. Uh, full power Super Saiyan 4. Goku doing his thing. Um, again, I mean, he's he's a powerful, effective character. Um, but, I mean, he's obviously just hit him potential system additional normal right there. Is this 12 key a, a melee super? It might be. That might actually have been good for us. Uh, I, I think his 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 12 key super may actually have been a melee, and that actually could have been a good hidden potential system additional normal. Uh, it is. So that was a good hidden potential system additional normal for us to get right there. That because we would have did zero damage with his regular super. Uh, Omega obviously continues debuffing Kid Buu, um, so that, that of course will help us. You know, getting the, the little bit of debuffs on him that we can. Uh, Beast will have the huge damage attack right here, but it gets blocked. But he does have the guaranteed additional super he'll shoot out right now as well. Uh, as well as the guaranteed crit and stuff like that. Uh, do we get the hidden potential system here? I'm not really too sure. So there's that one. Hidden potential system coming in? We do, but it's only a normal. Okay, still 4 million normal right there. Pretty good. Uh, then we get to this rotation. Now this is, this is just like clown show comedy bullshit. Now, with these team versus videos, one thing I don't do during these videos is I don't reset. Because it's not a race, I, I, but I do want to kind of just, like, operate. Like, like I don't want to reset the app for, like, different orb RNG or anything like that. Like, not during one of these videos. So, we're going to see a very comical situation. I, again, using LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, I'm very cognizant of the fact that I do hate him and again I, I one thing i don't want is if people go oh my god he doesn't like him so he sabotaged him i don't want to hear that shit so again i'm lo I, dude i'm locked in to not make mistakes now look at this shit it's pretty rare for garbage like this to happen but it can happen okay we actually have too many rainbow orbs on the field there's too many rainbow orbs on the field so what does that mean that means we cannot get orbs with Oob. We can't. Because Oob guards with three orbs. And we can't get three... No, three type orbs. It's three type orbs Oob needs. And we can't get three type orbs. Can't do it. There's not three type orbs right there. Now, again... This is why Blue Cow can go to Evolution Blue Vegeta. I mean, they're good for this fight, but are they best unit for the fight? Fuck no. Because if I put them in Sai 1 right here, we die. Unless they hit them with Tensor System Dodge. Right? Like, so, sorry. Not the best unit in the game for this fight. No way. Evolution Blue Vegeta would die as well. Because, spoiler alert, the very first attack Kibu does is a super. So, Evolution Blue Vegeta would die. Blue Cow can go to Evolution Blue Vegeta also would die. 
Uh, this is why Evolution Blue Vegeta, by the way, is not as good as Beast, again, uh, because, you know, I would really prefer if we could put him in style 1. Now, here's the thing, and the reason I hesitate so much and I'm really thinking about it. Kid, uh, Oob does block Kid Boo's super attack, which I know, but I wasn't sure potentially how much damage we would take from Kid Boo's normals. I didn't know, because it's like, you know, we've got it debuffed. Um, and, and Kid Buu has other defense besides just guarding and stuff like that. Um, but it, it's like, I'm, I'm still nervous, right? Like I, I, like, I don't know for sure exactly how it's going to go. So it, it's, it, it, it took me a little while. Eventually I do settle on just, you know, YOLOing with Oob and slot one anyway. Um, because it's like, again, if, if Kid Buu supers right away, which I felt like was very likely, Vegeta dies and Blue Cow can Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta die. So eventually I do settle on Oob, um, after some thinking. Again, I'm kind of like, just like looking at it, considering my options. Cause again, I didn't want to make a mistake. I felt like we had a pretty clean opening run here. Um, and I didn't want to kind of like fumble it when Kid Buu has this little, little HP, right? Uh, and then over on the UI Goku team, we now have Tech UI Goku ready to come out. So, of course, with Tech UI Goku and his domain, uh, we will be able to sit them down. And then, Oob, the super attack again is right away. Oob blocks it, but the normals are just doing double digits, so we're fine. So, if we win, we're, we're going to finish off the Oob fight. But it, it, it was scary. I, I, sw I stand by into Oob, and there wasn't three type orbs. I, it's not... I mean, it's, I, I don't know. It's happened enough times that I could think of. I could think of at least three times that's happened. Um, very frustrating when it does. Because, again, Oob needs three type orbs. But it's just, I you know, I, frustrating. But we got it done. We got it done. We got it done. We got it done. So there's that fight. I mean, I will definitely take the one try, one victory in one of the, you know, four hardest fights in the game. One of the five hardest fights in the game, Kid Buu, with double LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Like, I'll take it for sure. Um, again, Super Saiyan 4 Goku's team is way worse when you try and be a stubborn and run, like, another Saiyan War character. Spoiler alert, there's no good Saiyan War characters. Because even LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, I, I would hesitate to even call good. So, I, I would say Saiyan War right now has zero good characters, basically. So, I, I did not even worry. Like, I'd rather run Omega in there over, like, LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or some shit, right? Now, in terms of the second fight we're going to do... Um, I, I recorded, by the way, with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku team first. So, um, I, I, I do want to get at least two runs every single time in, in one of these team versus videos. Maybe I could do more. Maybe I could do less. I'm not really sure. I don't really want to speed up or slow down the footage or anything like that. Cause I kind of do just want to let the two teams, you know, fight it out at the same time. Like, you know, be maneuvering at the exact same time. Um, but yeah, we're here in the Supreme Magnificent Battle, uh, uh, Blue Goku, uh, and Blue Vegeta fight, the Resurrection F fight. Um, and I mean, it's like, you know, we'll, we'll see how we're able to do. I did change some characters around, um, on the team, um, to, you know, potentially work a little bit more effectively in here. Obviously, Omega is a very fight-specific character. I mean, I think Dokkan 2024 is the best year in Dokkan history by far, ever, easily, by huge margin. Um, and they have it set up where characters can be good in some of the hardest fights in the game and then suck in a fight that's not even one of the hardest fights in the game or something like that. Like, just like this, right? Uh, and, of course, we are using this character again. I mean, in both runs, they performed fine. Um, I mean, we, you know, would have even had them perform a little bit better, potentially, had we been able to drop the Spirit Bomb against Kid Buu, but we debuffed him so much. All right, now check out this goofy ass shit over here. So in that last run, we didn't ha Vegeta didn't have five hits. Over here, Vegeta does have five hits, and thank God he does because the friend Tech UI Goku, the friend Tech UI Goku does what, chat? Oh my God! Gl good thing he has fucking damage reduction and guard, man. It does so much against the super attacks. Remember the thousands of comments on every video where you guys are like, "Oh my God." Stop saying guard and damage reduction isn't for super attacks. Well, what do you think? <laughs> you, you think the damage reduction did a lot right there? I don't think so. He is a dodge or die character against super attacks. When you're using him, consider him dodge or die. Okay, because what do you think raw defensive equips do right there? You think they do anything? Hmm? 
We think raw defensive clips do shit right there. Anyway, Tech UI Goku is very good, but I mean, he does die a lot. <laughs> I I just, he does die a lot, man. I mean, that's at a certain point, you know. I don't hate him in base. I, I don't even, like, I like what they did with him. 70% dodge, and then, you know, he's got the damage reduction and the guard for normals. I, I like it, but maybe I just have bad luck, but he does tend to die. He he does tend to die a lot, unfortunately. I, you know, I wish he didn't. Uh, and that, of course, is a huge difference between Beast and him. Because does Beast Gohan die a lot? Uh, nope. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Beast doesn't really die, like, ever. So, there you go. Alright, so we finished off the Kid Buu fight with the uh, UI Goku team. Uh, and then we go ahead and jump right in. I don't think I made any changes uh, to the UI Goku team. Um, I guess we could have brought, like, Blue Cow can Goku, Revolution, Blue Vegeta, or anything like that. But, I mean, I figured the team was fine. Dispo did sell for us one time. Um, I was pretty confident that Dispo would not sell a second time. Like, there's no way, right? Like, there's like Dispo, Dispo's not going to blow it a second time. So, I felt very confident. Like, I think Dispo is a pretty good character. Um, we just got... I mean, again, in order for Dispo to have died on that turn, it was a checklist of, like, seven things that exactly had to happen, and it happened. And what's crazy is back-to-back -back Team Versus videos, I think these are the first two Team Versus videos where we have had teams die. The last, the Gogeta and Broly one, and now this one. And both of them, it's like, it literally is like a checklist of, okay, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened, and this happened, and then they died. Because all of the, like, if one of those five, six, seven things don't happen, we're good. And that's exactly what happened in both instances. It's crazy. But, you know, such is the game. Guess what the game is, chat? Say it with me. The game is all RNG. All RNG. Um, so I was pretty nervous with the GT side of things over here. Uh, now, the good news is Super Saiyan 4 Goku did get his 18 key super attack last turn. Um, you know, he does have his passive. So he has two different defensive buffs up that he wouldn't have normally at turn one, slot one, right? And that's his four turn buff from 18 key and his passive of getting hit or dodging. Uh, so we do live this attack by Vegeta. Vegeta doesn't really hit that hard, by the way. This is why Super Saiyan 4 Goku sucks. We eat 550k right there. And I know some people would go, oh my God, dude, guys, like he's so good. Like, dude, he's so good. Like he lived, man, he's so good. But it's like, no, I mean, that super attack is, like, baby mode, actually, right? Like, the big bosses are super in for, like, two million more than that or something. It's not that much more. W what exactly is Vegeta's damage? Let me look up the exact number that Vegeta's damage is right here. Um, but, like, the actual, like, really tough bosses are pff, way more than that, right? And, uh, obviously, Super Saiyan 4 Goku gets one-shotted. V Dude, Vegeta, oh my god, Vegeta Supers for 1.6 million. Fusion Zamasu hits harder than that, Vegeta. Like, please. At any real real boss is one-shotting Super Saiyan 4 Goku right there. And that's the problem, right? Because if you take him out of slot 1, he struggles against normals. He's just a fraudulent character completely. Uh, but we're able to run the best unit in, the, in not, not only in the game, but we're able to run the best unit in Dokkan history as well. So with the best unit in Dokkan history around, uh, you know, he is going to be able to absorb a lot of these attacks onto himself. Uh, we got the Gotmas as well. Um, I, I did figure that the Gammas, the Gammas are way too strong for this fight. Um, so they will be completely fine. The Gammas themselves aren't doing anything for LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, but like they, they themselves are just like a strong character onto themselves. Uh, which I figured they were going to be, so that, that's why we can kind of, like, bring them, uh, and things would be fine. I figured that no matter what, like, we're not going to lose from this point on, right? Because we'll have the Beast active right here, and then next turn we can drop the Gotma's, uh, standby. And then that potentially would finish it. And we also would have GT, Goku, and Vegeta's potential revive next turn as well. So we just have all these different, you know, special ability get out of jail free type mechanics on this team so i knew that we were going to be safe um you know kind of like from this point on so in terms of like the next one of these i'll do i don't know um i actually do enjoy doing these videos quite a bit 
Um, I had stopped doing them. I remember the performance. Of, like, I mean, to be fair, it was what was it Tech Pan versus Super Chunks? People don't really care about them, and then it's just kind of just never got back to them. Um, but if people want these videos, if they like them, I definitely can do them. I could do one for I think Beast Gohan versus so the Beast Gohan team versus the Gamma's team. Um, I mean, I guess they it is kind of the same team, but I mean, you know, I, I we could do it. Uh, and then obviously also uh, whatever the Part Two LR is. Um, versus UI Goku's team. So, I assume maybe the part 2 LR will be Jiren, and then we could run, like, Jiren, Topo, Dispo together um, against UI Goku's team. That's definitely something that we could do. Uh, that could be fun. Um, but, I, I mean, I don't know. It, it's, it is enjoyable. Like, I actually kind of like seeing this, right? The two different teams side by side. The only thing is I do wish, right now, the, the game's events are so tough that, like, you know, a lot of these teams end up being z It's because of how tough the fights are. Like, once you start not bringing Evolution Blue Vegeta and Beast and shit like that, is when we're going to start losing almost every single time. <laughs> almost every single time. It, like, it is true. Like, I, like if we start cycling in way too many 2023 characters, and, you know, we're we're going to be getting cooked. It's, we are going to be getting smoked. So, we, we got to be a little bit cautious about that. The big difference right now between 2024 and 2022, the two biggest power creeps in Dokkan history, the 7th anniversary and the 9th anniversary. Uh, the biggest difference is that the characters of the 9th anniversary era are a thousand times better. The LR gods and LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta are licking Beast Gohan's boot heels. They're, they're kissing his boots as he's just uh, that much towering over. They're little boys compared to Beast god of the game right like if they were as good as beast is this year back then like you know things would have been way easier and i'm not understand what i'm saying i'm not saying like yeah no shit like if you drop beast gohan in the 2022 dokkan no shit he dominates that's not what i'm saying i'm saying if the gods and gogeta had an equivalent level of power to what beast has in 2024 if they had that back in 2022 those red zone fights would have been way weaker man like it would not have registered the way it did and characters would not like the power creep. Oh, look, Vegeta's supering simultaneously on both screens. So yeah, um, we we do actually get the spirit bomb right here. Like this this video actually turned out pretty good. We got a lot. We got Omega in here. We got them in here. Right. We did actually get all the way into full power. So I really I am quite pleased uh, with how this video did in terms of all this stuff. Um. If you guys would have a recommend uh, a recommendation for one of these, what's funny is the UI Goku team died and still ended up finishing first. Now, I mean, a lot of that is the team is just 100 times better, right? But we watched way more animations on the team on the right. Um, but also, I, again, I, I as I explained, I moved a little bit more methodical. You know, if we get a crit right there, they have a full crit build, by the way. If they get a crit right there, they would have killed them and whatever. Again, I, you know, we'll just finish them with the Gammas instead. Um, if you guys have a recommendation you want to see for one of these, let me know. I mean, we, we could certainly do it. Um, you know, a certain, like, leader skill type team or something like that. Um, by the way, remember, these are not races either. Like, it's not, like, race is not directly the thing. It's just getting the two teams up next to each other to see what the characters look like, what the teams look like is more so the point here than actually, like, a race or something like that. So, uh, but I mean, I guess it is... Well, I guess it is funny that the UI Goku team finished first, even though they died once. But, again, that team is just way better than what we were rocking on the right side for most of this. I mean, double Super Saiyan 4 Goku is obviously not very um, good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, so, let me know what you guys think um, about the team versus here. The UI Goku team versus the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku team. Um, again, we'll, we'll kind of see what we're going to be doing. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks guys for watching and I'll catch y'all next time.